Pussy Dam, we're just having a quick look here, some vultures flying in. Disappear behind the trees there. Typical thing they do, let's try and move a little bit, try and get a look at them. Hey guys, back on the vehicle again. Sorry about that, we're just moving things around a bit. These two hooded vultures just came down for a drink. We just had to reposition the car there to try and see them a bit better. Now the reason there's vultures around here, there's also a couple of them flying around. The lions have made a kill not too far north of you, and unfortunately it's into an area that we can't go. It's on uh, one of the neighboring properties, but the good thing of that is that the closest drinking point for those lions is this dam. So there's a very good chance we saw a few tracks just now coming down here. Maybe towards this afternoon, late afternoon if we're lucky, or otherwise tomorrow morning. There could be a whole bunch of lions coming for their after eating drink down at the water there. So close on this water hole for the rest of the afternoon and then like I said tomorrow morning as well. This is obviously not eating too much in that carcass yet. In the beginning the lions won't allow them on that much, but uh, they're happy to wait their time, buy their time, they know that food will be there for them. It's one of the benefits of being a scavenger is that you must just be patient enough. It's very, very dead, so it's more a matter of just waiting for it. <laughs> Beautiful vultures there. Again, perfectly adapted for scavenging, especially these guys. They're not as big as some of the other vulture species. Also get the leopard face vulture around here, which is a massive, massive bird, two meter wingspan. It's more than seven feet wingspan and uh, large birds, your white backed vulture as well, very large bird. These guys are a bit quicker and they can also get into the carcass more. They've got a slightly pointier beak as well so they can really get to the little bits of sinew and tissue and, and so on that the bigger vultures can't necessarily get to. Otherwise they're sort of bare head, not too many feathers on there. Others, obviously, if you had a full head of feathers, that'll get caked up with blood and muck when you're eating on carcasses that could be anything up to two weeks old. These guys heads are quite pale, sometimes they're very pink. Yeah. Beautiful view area of these two vultures on the little points of dry land there as this water hole is now drying up a little bit or not drying up maybe just sort of becoming smaller over the next few months it'll get smaller and smaller until the main deep section of the dam will remain. You have all these little pools and wallows opening up that animals will utilize. And there's two vultures just sitting on a tip of dry land there. It's very beautiful, sort of the water in the background and foreground. If you get closer to maybe some big hilly areas or cliff faces, they use the thermal so they try not to use too much energy flying. You can imagine a big heavy bird to fly up to that height would be an enormous amount of energy. So they have big broad wings and they can just glide on currents and use the thermals to lift them up higher and higher. That's why you quite often see vultures circling as well. It's not always because there's food. That's one of the reasons. But normally when there's food, they try and get down there as quick as they can because there will be lots of other vultures to compete with. So quite often when you see birds, vultures just lazily sort of circling around. It's because they've got a nice thermal that they can ride to, to get high cliff. For the moment these guys are more just interested in water, so I'm not going to talk too much not talk much more. I'm already talking too much. For some reason, there's something about vultures. <laughs> Just the way they walk and the way they interact, they look like sort of grumpy old men. <laughs> guys are a little bit smaller, like I said earlier, than some of your other vulture species. You can see now if a couple of them decide to fly off, they can almost just jump into flight. Whereas some of your other vulture species almost have to take a run up. And then if you see them on big carcasses where they can really gorge themselves, 
they literally have to like a little aeroplane sort of take a run up and build up enough forward speed with their legs first before they can even lift themselves on the wings. I just enjoy the vultures for now. It's not often you get to see them around the water like this, especially large birds like this. I'm going to hop out the vehicle.